You've changed, man. You've changed. That's uh, that's what I hear a lot. You've changed. Uh, and I'd say this here because that's a thought that comes on my mind a lot. You've changed. It's a thought that's come on my mind a lot recently because I know that I'm changing. And the funny thing here is that it's not that I am actively changing. I'm just actually releasing and integrating different parts of my life to come out and show up differently. And for me, what I find is that the thoughts of you've changed play out in my mind. I hear it. I, and I, I hear I hear people saying it all throughout my mind. And the thing is, like, it's not like anyone's actually said it and put it out into the world. Um, it's really just my own mind chatter, my own mind trying to keep me well, do two things. One, to keep me safe from having to really be ejected or rejected or no longer accepted by uh, those who I've been building community, building friendship, building my peer group with, um, basically to keep me safe and, and keep me keep me with others. And I get that. The other side of it, though, also recognize was when I hear that call that you've changed and and all the different variations that I uh, I amass to. Uh, represent that feeling. I also recognize that for me, it means that there's a level shift taking place. There's something that I've integrated. There's something that I've learned and there's something more beyond how I've already been showing up that's ready to be manifested. And usually the you change barrier or the you change tension as I'm calling it right now, uh, is a wonderful indicator for me that there is that that I'm on my growth journey and that the next the upcoming weeks the upcoming decisions that I make aren't about linear growth it's about discrete uh it's about a discrete jump to a brand new level or it's about a, a, an exponential uh inflection point to to really just accelerate the growth journey that I'm on so I'm coming on here today to just call that out, to call out that process, but I think even more specifically to call myself out um, because there are changes coming and I'll be able to talk about this after the changes and it's going to seem really, uh, really as though it was uh, from the external perspective, it's just going to seem like it's, uh, it was a, a simple decision that uh, I'm just carrying forth and part of Part of the work that I do as a trailblazer myself is to document my process along the way and let you see behind the scenes and between the ears, because I know from conversations with individuals and different uh, leaders who are also going against the grain, who are also choosing to find ways to play at a bigger and bigger, uh, play a bigger and bigger game and make bigger and bigger impact. This feeling of being rejected or being no longer accepted as you're continuing to step up your level of uh, impact and success might come along with it. So this is, I want to document it while it's still real. Um, later on, you'll see me talk about, talk about this transition and the energy, the, the discomfort may not be there. Before I go on, I'm curious for you, have you experienced, uh, this tension, this tension, I'm calling it the you've changed tension, the, the, the feeling of like things are changing for you or you're doing things differently, you're showing up differently, you're having different types of conversations. The way that people are used to you uh, is is shifting. And if you've had that, I'd be really curious. Just uh, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll, I'll be really curious about that there. So for me right now, the the element of, of change that's coming out is uh, over the last few years, I've been able to really spend time uh, crafting and honing in in my skills as a coach and really having deep, meaningful, powerful conversations with, with people. And the way that I've shown up online and with different individuals has been really around like creating and holding space, like really with that level of depth for uh, with everyone that's there. And what's come up uh, recently, this, this is the this is the chatter that I have in my mind. I know that things are shifting. What's not changing is the depth. I, it's not going anywhere. Like I re, like at this point in my life, I'm having way too much fun having important and meaningful conversations 
every single day. In fact, my threshold uh, and standard for any conversation is that it's a life-changing conversation. And if we're not having a life-changing conversation, like I exit or I, uh, I recreate the space to give us room for that. Well, where I'm at right now is realizing just, just the power of what happens when people spend time with me. Like I can confidently say that anytime I have a conversation with someone, uh, it is the, the possibility of their life change, their life changing is comes with me. Additionally, I'm also seeing the impact of what's happening in conversations that I'm, that I'm able to set up uh, and have that are leading to world changing impact. The p number of people who are starting new businesses, the number of people who are changing their careers, the number of people who are allowing themselves to uh, be expressed out in the world uh, right now during this time when the world is ripe for the shaping, when the fixed and rigid ways of having to do things are no longer, uh, no longer just, uh, how do I say it? They're no longer the way that it needs to be. Everything's up for grabs right now. Uh, and it's really wonderful seeing what's been happening as I, uh, as I'm working more and more with different individuals who are leaning into, uh, into that and bringing that to light. And so what I know is on the horizon is two things. One, I, I want to spend even more time in world changing conversation. Um, I want to spend even more time with people who are looking and taking the time right now to, to shape that, which is around them. And you know, you'd know who you are if, uh, <laughs> if, if this is coming to you, I see you Karen here. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm reading this, this message you have here and I'm just, it's truly really true. You said, Karen says, I'm an example of that powerful life changing conversation. You absolutely are. And you know, if you're watching this or listening to this later on, I think, you know, uh, the impact of all that. Uh, and, and so what's happening now is just, it's just a, it's really this element of me being able to create even more space for that, uh, even more space to spend more time with people individually. And I think what's coming up for me is that uh, in recognizing that I have this power here uh, and that, that, that this is it, uh, this, this is a gift that I have a, 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 and a strength that the world needs right now. How can I create more space to allow for that? So that which I'm dancing around, I'll just jump onto it here, is that, uh, for me, I'm going to be creating a lot more video clips. There'll be a lot more, more deeper conversations on, um, that, that part isn't changing, but I can see myself like having different clips and different, um, videos and different quotes and pictures and just really coming off with just like a lot of volume. That's the word that comes to mind. Like there's so much that I have to get out into the world, not just that because it's coming through me, but because there's so much that I have to offer. And if you might remember this year, but I, I'm too much. And so me holding it in for myself, it's not doing the world uh, a service. And in order to get some of that out there, I can feel myself trying, finding different ways to make some of the, the content that I have more digestible, make, make some of the, uh, come up with different ways that I am um, producing and, and getting information. And, and it's not content, it's, uh, it's creating context and creating space with one another. And I can feel a tension here uh, within me because in my mind, I'm very excited. I'm like, ooh, I'm now going to be playing this game very differently. Um, and the, the sphere of who I'm impacting has expanded in my mind. And at the same time, I'm also scared. Uh, so you can see myself moving in my chair. I'm uncomfortable with it. Uh, I'm scared because uh, there's there are people that I can think of uh, that might come off and say, Hey, you know, what happened to the depth here? Why is there so much content coming out from you? Why, like, what's up with these like short little things out here? Where's the depth? What, like you've changed, man. Like I just, there's a part of me that really feels that's going to happen. Now, mind you, it hasn't happened. No one said it, but it's in my mind. And what I've recognized now that, that from this part of the journey is that when these things show up, it's my mind helping me out in two ways. One, it's trying to keep me safe from from actually like losing things or feeling like I might like basically just trying to keep me safe. Like like essentially not my number one fear is being alone. And rather than having me have to face being alone, it finds different ways for, for me to stay um I don't know, what I'll what I'll call stay accepted. 
The other thing my mind does is that it says, hey, you're coming up upon something that's really important. And after you do this, you can't go back. After you do this, people will look at you differently, potentially. After you do this, like you will look at yourself differently. That's true. Uh, and so I, I, I'm recognizing that that's playing out. And I want to call that out right now. I want to call that out because I think the 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 thing is the fear that lies with me is that someone's going to see that and say, "Hey, you've changed." And I think what I like this is what it all comes down to is I have changed. That's it. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's it. I have changed. So let's call that out. Let's get that out uh, open, out in the open. Let's get that out uh, early. It's like this is the game that we're playing now. Um, if you if you missed that, I can actually feel an energetic shift now that I've said those words. I've changed. Um, it's almost like I was afraid that you would know that I would change. Uh, I was afraid that you would think something. You would think that I've changed, and you would uh, you be in who's this you, right? There's the, you be in this um, this collective, nameless, faceless mass uh, of, of people out there uh, would then hold that against me, and so. I, I'm bringing this in here for for my benefit because I'm on the journey and you you know me as a trailblazer like what I do is I document my journey I'm I'm a Sherpa along the path for people to also play uh, their games of bringing out more of who they are stepping up into other levels and such but I don't do it from a position of being a guru I could I could say this is all the things you need to do but like, honestly, I'm on the path myself. I'm still learning. I'm still discovering. Uh, and this is a never ending journey for me. So I love to be a Sherpa walking along the trail with you, knowing that I've been a few steps uh, ahead and I've picked up a few things along the way. You watching this video is one of the tools that I've learned along the way. Uh, Brene Brown says perfect vulnerability is perfect protection. So my ability to come out and just express to you that which I'm afraid that you would find the thing that I would normally try and hide the thing that I would do, but like edge up, edge against, uh, because I'm afraid that people will come up and say it's too much or you've lost, you've lost the depth or whatever other story that I, uh, and, and imaginary conversation I've had. I know that this is part of my process to be able to move forward. I also know that there are a number of you out there who also have something really creative, really unique, and really just like core to who you are that isn't coming out to the world right now because of some variation of the youth change tension where there's some some part of you is, is, is afraid of what those around you might think uh, what your friends what your peers what your community might be thinking if you actually make that change happen and so I want to just call that out and let you know like great if that's happening for you if you're feeling that that's a good thing because that means that you are actually playing a game that is bigger than the game you're playing beforehand you're actually allowing more of who you are to be shown out in the world and that is conf confronting and i want to make sure that uh that throughout all this year you're going to see this in the future and you and you you'll jump to me where i am where this is already integrated and i'm no longer working through this particular tension at least this particular flavor until the next time I feel like I'm jumping up a level and I might have to come back out and do this. This is my process. What's most important here is to make sure you know that you are not alone and then open up the invitation for you to create your own process of being able to deal with with that tension there. I come on live and I make it I make it known and I allow my vulnerability to be seen. And look, I've changed. Boom. Done. Like it actually feels differently now. What's your process? What's the what's the place that you've been holding back because you've been afraid that someone would say that you've changed? And how can you lean into that even more? I'm going to end this here. Leave some comments. Let's start a discussion here. Go to niyama.com slash tribe if you want to come in and talk to me live in it uh, because I have uh, weekly workshops and weekly um, weekly tribe gatherings where we come together and we we continue to grow on the topics that we're talking about here. All right. I'm off for now. Leave a comment. I would love to continue on from here and continue this conversation. All the best. Hey, Oniyama here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and then go ahead and leave one of your insights from today's video in the comments below. If you're looking to take this deeper, you can go and watch another video, or you can go to niyama.com slash tribe to get exclusive invitation to our tribe member only events. I'll see you soon.